And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. The United States, as Secretary of State Mike Pompeo emphasized, has repeatedly offered the Iranian people humanitarian aid during the COVID-19 crisis, an offer that has been rejected by regime leaders. We're trying to help. We continue to offer assistance to Iran in numerous ways, and we will continue to do so. But as Secretary Pompeo also made clear, the United States will keep increasing pressure on the Iranian regime to stop its malign activity. On March 16th, the U.S. Department of Commerce announced it imposed restrictions on five Iranian nuclear scientists by adding them to the Department of Commerce's entity list. These five individuals were involved in Iran's pre-2004 nuclear weapons program, known as the Ahmad program, and continue to be employed by the regime to this day, Secretary of State Pompeo explained. After work on the Ahmad plan was stopped, Iran continued to preserve its Ahmad era records and its cadre of nuclear weapon scientists, including these individuals. Many unanswered questions remain about Iran's undisclosed past nuclear-related activities. On March 19th, the U.S. Treasury Department took action against five United Arab Emirates-based companies that facilitate the Iranian regime's petroleum and petrochemical sales. As Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin wrote, the Iranian regime uses revenues from petroleum and petrochemical sales to fund its terrorist proxies, like the IRGC Quds Force, instead of the health and well-being of the Iranian people. The Trump administration, said Treasury Secretary Mnuchin, will continue to target and isolate those who support the Iranian regime and remains committed to facilitating humanitarian trade and assistance in support of the Iranian people. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.